There we go. All right, everyone. Um, give yourselves permission. Give yourselves permission to relax and just fully resonate with whatever is coming to us. Give your body's permission to relax so that whatever energy comes in and takes us off to a journey is able to flow through our entire being. You may notice that your feet are already relaxing so that all the energy flowing within you can flow out through your body. You may notice your energy is emanating from you like an Akashic auric field. The top of your head, maybe even the sides of your head and your shoulders may feel very light as all the beautiful sacred divine energy flows in. Give yourself a moment to release all control and management to your body and the elements of your body. Invite yourself to relax. Invite your brain to just shut off. It doesn't need to work so hard. So everything you receive, you may accept with 100% faith and trust. Breathe, flow, and glow. Emanate and flow. Allow the cells and the molecules within your body to relax so that energy is welcome to flow through them and around them. Invite your senses to fill with this beautiful Akashic energy. Whichever ones wish to activate are the ones that are ready to be your primary message bringers. And allow your chakras to fill up so as they activate you will see whichever chakras whichever energy centers are the most powerfully connected with your coming experiences which may vary from moment to moment Invite your body to feel very light and floating, as though a cloud has come down and claimed you, is ready to carry you up. Let yourself just fall back on this cloud, feel the energy within it. cloud that just carries you up, up in the air, up 
through the skies, through the atmosphere, up through the hemisphere, up through the stars, universe, collective of galaxies, up through the dimensions, the frequencies, up through time and space, warped, bent, flowing, effervescent realities. Allow your cloud to carry you all the way up through the portals, through the doorway, into the great hallway of the Akashic Library, where it places you standing in the doorway of the great hall of the Akashic Library. Give yourself a moment to resonate and adjust. Feel whichever of your senses are activated. You may feel like the information is visual or auditory. You may hear someone say either outside your ear or in the back of your head something like, we are here for you, our child. This may be an emotional experience for you. If you have any anxiety, invite it to release. With trust and faith, open yourself and say, I am here, library. Accept me. Absorb me. Invite me in. You may be receiving downloads of information that seem like the tiniest seedling when it arrives. But once you receive it, acknowledge it, and accept it, it opens up and fills you with tremendous understanding or powerful lessons. Give yourself a moment to just resonate with this beautiful place, the great hall of the records of the Akashic Library. And allow it to present itself to you. Let its presentation flow into your body so you may feel it within your senses, within your meat then your chakras, your energy. I will continue this journey describing it visually. Receive it in whatever way your body naturally opens and absorbs. Look around this great hall. You see walls upon shelves of books and scrolls. You might even see objects, orbs, runes, parchments. You might see a microfiche contain a corner or some computers or projection booths. Every which way you look, you see tomes and vehicles 
for your ability to absorb knowledge. If you look up, you will see there are floors upon floors rising up. You might see ladders or stairs climbing up the bookshelves and from one floor to the next. And if you peer down any aisles between the bookshelves, you see they go back further, further, further. You realize you could explore this library for hours days, and eternity, and never find the end of it. At this moment, I want you to call out to your librarian. One or more may appear and how they appear is how they appear for this moment. Open your senses. Your librarian may be visual, or it may, he or she or it may appear in a different way. Call to your librarian. Librarian, I am here. I'm ready for a tour. I would like you to escort me to interesting corners and places within this library. Open and invite your librarian to present in whatever way your librarian does at this moment. Acknowledge, accept, and receive. Your librarian will direct you. First, we are going to visit a very special place. It is a place where you can go and actually see what it's like to be any kind of being in any kind of place. So we are going to go forward guided by our librarians to a room that has a great window, huge window that when you look through it, not only do you see through it, but it feels like your awareness becomes one with what you are seeing. And there is a station where you can press levers or type in data to bring up any kind of place. This is an interdimensional viewing portal. Your librarian leads you to this place. Once there, look around. Look at the window. Look at the table in front of you or counter where you input your data. With your librarian's help, play with it so you can set any time or place and this view screen will show you other dimensions, collectives, races through all time and space, every frequency. Play with it to see what other dimensions and galaxies and frequencies are out there. Take 
take your time to enjoy looking through and seeing. There's the dimensions of colors, of flowing energy. There are dimensions where it feels like you're an amoeba in a very strange place. There are dimensions where there are no sense of gravity or direction. There are collectives where you are unique, yet one with everyone. Through this space, you can visit the fairies and the mermaids, the Sasquatch. Get to know them. The angelic realm. You can see the cone of inception where all the souls are born. You can see the tachyons dancing through space. In this place, you can also see the lives of those who have made their, their books open for public access. Ask your librarian to share with you the life of someone who was famous. You may only get glimpses and moments of someone's life. You may see it from their perspective or from an outsider's perspective looking upon them. Pull yourself back, back out of this viewing space, looking around again in this room with the great window. And the table with the levers and the knobs, the control booth. You see next to the window, there's a doorway. Set the levers, the controls, to a dimension that is very simple, one that's just flowing energy, flowing energy of sound or color or anything that just feels comfortable with you. When you and your librarian have set the controls, your librarian will direct you to the doorway. You can walk through and become one 
with the frequency that you have selected. Allow yourself to go through the doorway into the dimension you have chosen and just resonate, become one with it. Experience what it's like on all your senses, emotional, psychological, physical, and just let yourself completely flow. Then you hear your librarian calling you back, back through the doorway into the control room, looking through the great window to the place you had just been a moment before, looking back upon this interesting dimension that you had just visited. You were and then your librarian guides you out of this room into the next room, which is pitch dark. You and your librarian enter a room where you feel like you are standing in the middle of absolute nothing. You are well supported, but there is nothing around you except floating screens. And on each screen, there is a being from some place or somewhere or somehow. It's like an internet chat room where anyone can speak with anyone. Allow yourself to relax there. You may be actually having a meeting or you may be watching a meeting or a chat. Just let yourself merge into this experience. See what happens. This is a place where great meetings are held. You may be witnessing a great meeting at this moment. And again, your librarian guides you, guides you back into the lit library filled with books and scrolls and artifacts. As you continue into a hallway where all of the books are moving. Sometimes they rest on their shelves or sometimes they float about. Sometimes it's like they're in their own little party and they're talking with each other. Some of them are floating in the air. Some are piled on the floor. But you can feel the life energy of each of these books and that they are interacting with each other. This is the hall of open books. This is the hall where those who have lived lives that they wish to share with the public of our human existence or any existence are kept. 
go into this hallway and look at the books. You see books from the angelic realm, books from the demon realm, books from different galaxies, different races, different dimensions, different collectives. Let yourself just stand in the room and watch as these books socializing together and sharing their stories with each other. Hold out your hands and just stand there receptive. We'll see, you will find a book will set itself apart from the rest and gently float through the air into your receptive hands. Accept this book, pure, unfiltered, and just receive whatever floats into your hands. When you are ready, let the book merge into your being or allow yourself to dive into the book. Whatever presents itself to you, be completely receptive. Allow the experience to overwhelm you, wash over you. You may ask questions of it. And then, as though it is releasing you from its power, the book rises out of your hands. You're again standing in this room, looking at all of the tones floating about, piling. When you look up, you can see again so many floors above you with ladders and shelves and stairs. You see ahead of you a fun stairway calling to you like it's lighting up. Approach the stairway and walk up. Walk up to a floor above. To a floor above where you find a very cozy nook that gets created especially for you, your personal little hideaway library room where you can go and step away from all of the vast halls and important scriptures to your own cozy little nook, an area that is filled with reading material that is just for you in a sweet little cozy space that is perfect for you. Look around at the decor, the design. Look at the books on the shelves, one next to the other, at the binding and the titles that you can see.
this is the room that is filled with your most favorite Akashic records and with suggested records for you that you can easily harmonize with. Feel welcome to brush your fingers along the books. Every, every record in here is available to you. It's your own personal and private little reading space. You can pull out any book you want and glance through it if you like, or dive deep. You can look at book after book if you wish. And now I would like you to put down whatever books you have, look again around this space, turn to your librarian. Ask your librarian if there is anything else you should see or anything your librarian should tell you. Ask your librarian to share a show and tell moment with you that is specifically for you. Okay. Thank your librarian. And as you can see, this is a place you can come to anytime you want and explore for as much as you like. There is so much here in the Akashic Library. Invite your body, your mind, your awareness to merge again. Your librarian is going to stay with you for the rest of this class. So as you return to your body, and bring your awareness back to this time and this place. You will feel your librarian is coming with you to help as we continue with our coming journeys. Gently let yourself merge again. Invite the multi-dimension to return with the three dimension and become one with yourself and your place. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Okay. Oof. 
So give yourself a moment. You may want to stretch a little bit. Sort of get that merging back into place. If you'd like, we're going to take a five minute break. It's 2.18, so at two, no, 2.19, so at 2.24, we will start again. So if you want to jot down any notes, you're welcome to. And um, when we come back, we'll answer questions or do a little bit of shares. Just remember, this was only the teeniest blip of all the fun things you can do in the library. Okay, I'll see you all in a few minutes.